Hello everyone, and welcome to Interplanetary. This is a game about destroying planets, pretty much. Basically, you play as a planet, and you're at war with a load of other planets. And you have to destroy every city on all the other planets. We're going to be playing a sped up game here, because this game, in real time, took two hours. But, I sped it up to eight times speed. And I'm playing against the AI here. This is all post commentary, by the way. Um, I'm, pl I'm playing against the AI. I've got three AIs all at different levels. You can see in the bottom right that there is a normal, a hard, and an impossible level AI that I'm playing against. And this one was actually to get an achievement called Inconceivable. And we'll get onto that later. But basically, that is beat the impossible AI. And there's with this game, it's an amazing game. Recommend it right now. My play style is is strange. I don't I don't think I build rail guns until very late on because I'm very I'm a very defensive player when it comes to playing. I think I don't build until something like turn 12. It does take quite a long time to process each turn because it's got a whole orbit to calculate. It's It's got lots of orbits to calculate because firing and stuff. You notice that I get fired at a lot and I just don't retaliate at all. That'll change. Because I just go build loads of mines, get loads of resources and then I just use them all on railguns and blow everyone else out of the world. And on the something with this game is that you have an advantage on the outside planet, and that is sometimes sometimes it can change the game because it means that basically you have an easier chance at fire. You have more chances to fire at people in the middle if you're on the outside than if you're on the inside essentially and less people have less of a chance of firing at you and you have long times after being fired at to get back all your stuff and notice that the outside planet on this is actually the normal difficulty one and I, for a lot of the game, ignore it because I'm like, oh, it won't do any damage to me. Yeah. It's turn 14 and I still haven't built railguns. I'm a bit weird like this. Look, I'm building loads of data security because the, the impossible difficulty, they have so many, so many telescopes. It's crazy. Why do they need so many telescopes? Because reasons. Um. Basically, I start off as a really peaceful settlement. I'm just looking at the other planets right now. And. I've started to build some railguns. That will be turn 15, I think. I, it's turn 16 now. I started to turn 15. Yeah. You can see the tech tree. I usually go for nuclear reactors first in the tech tree. And then I go for kinetic defense. Then offshore mines. Then telescopes and missiles. And once I've got no, once I've got telescopes, I'll go for I'll go for shield defenses. And I I play way too defensively at this game. But it pays off a lot of the time. Notice, notice how the impossible difficulty guy, the yellow guy, um, in the middle. Notice how he goes and starts very much offensive, but then kind of slows down a bit. I'm, I'm not sure that might just be how the AI works, but it really doesn't work very well, in my opinion. 
Now, here's the point where I begin to start getting loads of railguns. This is an unusual, an unusually large amount of railguns already. Um, like, they have, har they're firing hardly any at this point, and I'm just firing like nine. I can't remember how many it was. Basically, I do stupid amounts of damage with my nine whale guns. These um, trajectories are actually really hard to get right. I I mess up so many of them, and it nearly lost me the it nearly lost me the game near the end. And <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, spoiler alert. I didn't mean to say that. Oh well. Just get this game. It's not popular enough. Not enough people go on multiplayer as well. More people need to go on multiplayer. More people. Yeah. That, that happened. I do like the multiplayer in this, actually. I get to say, OI! Stop firing at me! And then I get to deploy all my, like, 20 railguns on anyone who breaks the peace. I'm like the UN. And I've, I've built up my telescopes and stuff by here at this point as well. They can't really see much of my stuff because I've got data security stuff. Now... I de I'm now at the point where I just deal absolute butt-tons of damage here. Like, I'm trying to do a trick shot on that orange planet there. And it goes okay. But I'm, I'm always, when I'm doing trick shots, I'm always really careful not to hit myself. It doesn't work sometimes. I have too many railguns. Also, you can upgrade your buildings for people who are new. And I always upgrade my mines so that they don't use as many planet resources. Look at... Oh, wait, that's not the, the, the turn. There, there is a turn where I do too much damage. Like, railguns OP. I thought that was the turn, but it wasn't. Um, I just wanted to post about that turn. Yes, I know. This turn is it. I blow up a city and blow up 26 buildings. Yeah. Railguns OP. Please laugh. Actually, don't laugh. They're, they're the best weapon. They should always be the best weapon. They're the starting weapon. Actually, that doesn't make much sense, does it? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Still. It's cool. Basically, by this point, I'm completely OP. And I, you, I've, I've built some missiles. I don't like to build very much of them because they don't do widespread damage. They only do a small amount of damage that's really targeted. So if you can see, like, if someone else has a super weapon, then you can target them, pretty much. And it'll probably blow up the super weapon. You want to do that. You don't want to have an asteroid flung at you. And talking of super weapons, now I should mention one of the game settings I have changed. I have made it so that you can have multiple super weapons, and that's because I think that it's a bit stupid that it's limited to one. It just doesn't make any sense to me that it should be limited to one. And near the end I actually have two asteroid diversions, and I probably would have lost if I didn't. So yeah. 
right now I'm just kind of going through all of Yellow Cities and just trying to blow them all up because I want them to get out of the game. I don't want them to... They're, they're my biggest threat here and, well, I thought they were my biggest threat. I think, yeah, I think Yellow, no, not Yellow, I mean Orange has been knocked out. So we've got rid of the hard difficulty guy. Now we have to get rid of the impossible and the normal difficulty guy. So, just getting some more stuff. They're just, I have so many that I can just fire roughly in a direction and then be like, Oh, some of them are going to hit. See there. That. First asteroid diversion. I think I go through like six or seven in this game. Like they get destroyed and I just rebuild them. Lots of trajectories to do. Play if and yellow are nearly wiped out now because I f I believe that they only have one city left. I still have all five of mine. I believe at, up until this point, I have none of my buildings destroyed yet. So that would be interesting. It would have been interesting if I could have actually got the, through the whole game without any of my buildings being destroyed. But unfortunately not. You'll see. Yep. Green, the normal player that I wasn't suspecting would be much harm to me, has built an asteroid diversion and fired it at me and destroyed six of my buildings and a city. This. This. Now... I'm still focusing on wiping out yellow because I'm stupid. And it doesn't cross me that I should wipe out the asteroid flinging maniac rather than the peaceful, just very good at aiming yellow. Look, asteroid flinging maniac. Look what he's done again. That is just not allowed. Oi! Green, not allowed! Yeah. I. This is actually a really good use of the missiles, because you can target them, and it'll hit. But I keep missing the planet, because I'm a really bad aim. Like, I don't go for the get the aiming right and get them all to hit. I just go for the fire a load in that kind of direction and hopefully one of them will hit. Yeah. I should play more carefully, but I don't because reasons. Yeah. That describes it. That describes it. Now, the, the I wiped out Yellow's last city there, and now it's just a battle between me and Green. And by this point, I was fairly confident that I'd win. I'm like, oh, I've only I've just defeated a hard and an impossible level AI. Surely, surely I can take out a normal. Surely. And. This game, what this game? Don't be complacent when you're playing this, because it can turn around so quickly. I'm still doing well by this point. I've got two asteroid diversions, and I'm just firing all my like 20 railguns at them, with 16 and two missiles, and I'm feeling fairly confident. I still, I do about the same amount, I'm doing like more damage to them than they are to me, so I'm like, yeah, and I've got more, I've got more cities than them left over. Like, it'll be fine. Be completely fine. And, yeah. I then go to fire a load of railguns at them. 
They forgot to fire their asteroid at me that time. Oh. Yeah. And this spamming railgun shots, I missed with a lot of these. I'm really bad at, like, going all the way across the entire solar system. I, I think I hit with a few of them. And look, they've taken out one of my cities. And I'm down to two cities now. I'm slightly worried because they have two cities by this point. I'm very worried that I'm on the brink of losing. And this game, by this point, I have two asteroid diversions, and that's the only thing that's likely to win me the game. Because the AI ha is very good at aiming. Is very good at aiming. But now all my minds have just been completely blown off the map. I cannot build anything. I just got in a laser there. And I think that was a good choice on my part. To get a laser in. And... Uh, it's getting close. Very close. It's... By this point, uh, we both have one city. Whoever gets the last city wins. And it's so close! And I get the last city. And I win. Yeah. Skill. That, that was a really close game. It was such a close game. But anyway, I've been Periaptus. This has been Interplanetary. I thank you guys for watching and goodbye. <laughs>